mother there. She was an elderly lady, elderly lady, lady, and he was taking care of his mom and getting her breakfast and everything, you know. And me and my wife, I said, we sure do like that cross hanging around her neck right there. And he said, you know, somebody asked her that, told her that the other day, and I told him it was the key to get in. I thought that was good. I thought that was good. Amen. It's the key to get in. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ, our Lord, made the way. Praise God. I'm excited about uh, God. You know, God's done a lot of things for us. And uh, he's, he's restored a lot of stuff for us. Amen. And we'll just uh, look at some of the things he has done for us this morning, uh, how he has restored and and uh, done some of these things uh, for us. He's an awesome God we serve, and uh, we need to serve him during these troubled and hard times that we're in. We need to stand our ground. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be battles, uh, many battles. It might be health uh, or finances or or spiritual or whatever it might be. But as soon as you get out of that, and there'll be another journey that you'll go into that we get to be with the Lord thy God. But you got to make up your mind to stand with Jesus. Hallelujah. There's no turning around. There's no backing up. Stand with the King of kings and the Lord of lords because he stood for you and I, hallelujah, on Calvary. Amen. He has paid the ultimate price for you and I, and we got to stand with our Lord no matter what it is. You know, I, I was uh, reading and, and working on this message here this morning, and I got in there, and, and I seen in an area, I'll get ahead of myself right here, I seen in an area where this, uh, this woman had done a lot of terrible things, and Jesus said she had done a lot of sinning. But Jesus said, I forgive her for much. And Jesus said, for those that I forgive much, love me much. You know what I'm talking about? Do you really love him this morning? Have you been forgiven for much? I have. I've been forgiven for much, and I want to love him much. Hallelujah. Praise God. Think about it. He loves us that much. Amen. I want to read these scriptures and then... See what the Lord restored by the Messiah. I tell you right now, when you got saved, a lot of things happened in your life that were restored things that, that you wouldn't uh, didn't have. But when you got a hold of Jesus, uh, you got a peace that passes all understanding that the world don't understand only come from our Lord. Amen. You've got something to be proud of, and what you've got to be proud of, you can uh, experience uh, and tell other people about what God has done for you. That's a supernatural thing God's done for you, by the way. Amen? Let's look right here and see what God's Word said in Psalms 69, for the psalmist is talking. Oh, King David's praying and fasting and moaning to the Lord that they hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty than I restore that which I took not away. I'll tell you, this is old King David, and he's crying out to the Lord, and he's moaning out to the Lord. You ever been there? You ever been in a position where people hate you and you don't know why they hate you? It's because of the Spirit of God that's in you. Just like I told you this morning, uh, in uh, Nicaragua, they were 8,000 Christians killed last year. You see, the world hates a Christian. We're not of this world. We're pilgrims passing through this world. Hallelujah, praise God. And we're just here for a, a short time. It passes. And if we go by the grave, that's okay. But I'm looking for the rapture to go out of here pretty quick. Amen. It's fixing to happen. God's Word says it. I believe what God's Word says. I believe all of it from the front to the back. Hallelujah. Praise God. We got to be ready. The world is coming against us. Look at your old King David said, They hate me without a cause. More than the hairs of my head. You ever had that happen in your job or your workplace or wherever you go? People don't like you and dislike you. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, I've had it to happen many a times. 
uh, because I'm a Christian, I've decided to stand up for the Lord Jesus Christ in my job. I worked with my company 36 years, and I love God through that 36 years. He put me there anyway, amen? And I represented God in my job and what I did, and the people that worked around me, they knew that. And there's a lot of people that didn't like it, but I didn't care. You know why? Because my Lord God was with me always, hallelujah, and I know that. He said he'd never forsake me or leave me, and I went through all of those struggles and battles uh, in that, uh, and he's with me here today, and he's with you here today through the things that you're going through. And I'll tell you, you know, somebody, I was watching somebody preach the other day, and they're talking about, you know, you step up a level with the Lord, you step up a spiritual level with the Lord, and the old enemy tries to send more demons uh, your way. But that's okay. I want to tell you, and you need to be always grounded, and this, uh, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Remember that God is greater than any demon of hell. Uh, you remember that. You have power. You have authority to defeat the enemy, and you need to get in God's word. You need to find out what it says. Because when Jesus is in the wilderness, he said it is written. He quoted the word to Satan and defeated him in the wilderness. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Let's look a little bit further right here. See what God is. I like that right there. They that hated me without a cause, more than the hairs of my head, that they would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully or mighty. Well, they destroyed Jesus, they thought, but they couldn't destroy. The, the graves couldn't hold our Lord. He came out, praise God. He died on Calvary. He certainly did. He gave for you and I that we can be saved today. He made, he restored a way we can get back to God because, see, the only way to get to God now is through the Son, Jesus. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man will come to the Father but by me. And so I don't care what the world has to say out there. They're not going to get to God. If they think they can go around Jesus, it ain't going to happen because he's the one that prayed the ultimate price for you and I that we can go to heaven and be with our Lord for eternity. Amen. He's the one who shed innocent blood, and he's the one who has the power and authority to forgive sins, by the way. Amen. We give him praise. We give him glory. Let's look at this next scripture right here and see what the word says. That in the dispensation, that's the time, of fullness of times, he might gather together and want all things in Christ, both uh, which are in heaven and which are on the earth, even in him. I'm telling you right now, we're going to have union with the Lord. We're going to be with him for eternity. The Bible says so, and I believe it. The Bible said he would come, he'd come. The Bible said he'll come again, he's coming again, hallelujah. The Bible says we're going to be raptured out of here. I believe we're not accounted to wrath the way the word of God says. I believe we'll be raptured out of here. So you stand your ground, you stay close to God. It could happen this very day. That's how close we are, this very day. And we don't know what's going to happen to us this day until the next day, but God does. He's the one our soul is in, amen. He knows, and he loves us, and he has something for us. I want to tell you right here, let's look right here at this next verse and see and look at a little bit of grace. Uh, you know, unmerited favor. How many got a hold of that grace when you got saved? Amen. You didn't deserve to get saved, but praise God, he loved you so much. He said yes, and he cleansed you of those sins. They're under the blood. Amen. Look right here. And of his fullness have all we received and grace uh, for grace. Hallelujah, praise God. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. He is the new covenant. We in the new covenant. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank God for the new covenant. Amen. And we're a part of it. Our forefathers looked for the new covenant also, you know. How did they get saved in the Old Testament? By faith. Amen. Look in the faith chapter, chapter of Hebrews 11. Read and study that wonderful chapter about the generals of God, how they trusted in God and how they were saved, and they're in heaven right now. I can't wait to talk with them and fellowship with them. Amen. Praise God for a man like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and King David. Praise God for those great men that stood up for the truth. Hallelujah. We can't compromise in the world today. The world today wants us to compromise, but we're not compromising. We're going to do exactly what God's Word says to do. Amen. And uh, the world may not like that, but that's the way it is. God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. And uh, He has not changed at all. His Word, it's the same. Amen. Think about it. 
I like to tell the world today, too, sin is still sin. There ain't no compromising in it. So we're all accountable. Look at here. It says, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. That is one of the, or God restored a, a, a great thing for us in humanity. He has given us mercy and grace. Now, there is a balance to mercy and grace. You can't use it this way. You've got to use it the right way. Amen. It don't, mercy and grace don't give you accountability to go out there and sin because uh, I don't read that in my Bible. But mercy and grace is a God who loves us so much. Uh, if we do mess up and cry out with an honest heart, uh, he will come to you and he will forgive you and he'll dust you off and you get back up and keep running uh, the race that he's got us in. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. Look at here. I, everybody ought to know this one right here, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And through him we be, must be saved. Now look right here. And uh, let's just see what the word says. For God so loved the world. He loved the whole world. Just think, he, he, he tested his friend Abraham. said, I want you to take Isaac up there and I want you to sacrifice him. That's his only son that God gave him. Well, God gave his only son for you and I, and he did sacrifice on the cross for you and I. He carried the world of sins upon his shoulders for you and I. Abraham went up there. He was going to go ahead and do what God, because he loved God enough that he believed that if he killed his son that he was fixing a sacrifice. Don't you know it ripped his heart out? But he knew that if he plunged that knife in his son, that God was a God that he served could raise him back up again. Amen? I believe that. Look at here. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You and I have everlasting life because of the son Jesus. You and I have it because of the son Jesus. Amen? Thank God for his only begotten son for you and I. So we have eternal life through the King of kings and the Lord of lords, his son. We have grace uh, that he has given us. Let's look at this next in Matthew. That it might be fulfilled which spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sins. Now I'm going to tell you right now, we got folks in here with healed come out of the hospital this week. Hallelujah, praise God. We give him the glory. He's a healing God, and I'm here to tell you right now, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. We need healing down here. I ain't going to need it when I get with the king because I'm going to have a glorified body like Jesus, amen. It ain't going to get sick, and diseases ain't going to hurt it, amen. There will be no tears, no sorrow, no pain. Where are we going to be with the king, amen? Oh, hallelujah. Think about that. We got something to rejoice about and to shout about because of our king right there. That it might be fulfilled was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, he himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness. He did. And I can say right now, everybody in here, who, who has been healed by God? Raise your hand. I see 100%. I see just pretty much 100%. In it. You know he's real. You know he healed you. Amen. He's a, he's a, he is the Savior. I'm telling you right now, he's the healer. He says so right here. He took our infirmities. He bare our sickness for us on the cross. In the whipping post, 39 times, 39 lashes they put on him and shed that blood for you and I that we can be. 39 diseases out there. Think about it. There's all kind of diseases out there, but he is a God that can heal anything. There is nothing impossible with God. I'm here to tell you. Like me and my brother was talking this morning, we know when it's time to go, we're going. But until it's time to go, we stay in, amen. We're going to do the work that God's called us to do. We're going to keep going forward in the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's look at this other one right here in comfort. I tell you right now, there's times I need to be comforted. You you ever been there? There's times I need a touch from the Lord. I remember one time I was going through some terrible stuff. Man, I can just write a book on terrible stuff I've been in. Probably some of you could too. But I won't go there. That's right. I can tell you. Look here. I was going through some terrible things. Blessed are they that moan, for they shall be comforted. I'll tell you right now, I have moaned a lot of times in circumstances or journeys that uh, I've been in, but I've come out on top, praise God. God bless y'all, brother. And to come out on top, 
Uh, for that reason, I want to tell you right now, though it says right here, blessed are they that moan, for they shall be comforted. I've been comforted by God a lot of times. He's come on the scene just in time. You know what I mean? One time I was going through some terrible stuff. I didn't think I was going to make it. To, and I was sleeping in my bedroom, had the windows up because it was hot. This is years ago. It was real hot. And did you know at 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, these birds come and landed in a nest beside my bedroom, and they sang until daybreak. Now, you ever heard of roosters uh, 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 crow in the middle of the night? Most birds don't sing in the middle of the night. I know it was God sent. He sent them little birds down there, and they comforted me. They ministered to me till daybreak. Hallelujah, praise God. And I know it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Amen. You know, me and my wife talking the other day, and we were talking about, uh, have, you ever, uh, uh, have you ever smelled a heavenly fragrance? I'm talking about uh, it ain't earthly. You know beyond a shadow of a doubt when God, when our Lord passes by, because you'll smell him. I smelled him two times, and I know he's real. And I'll tell you right now, me and my wife talking about when he passed by, and I'll tell you right now, it was a fragrance that's not of this earth. It was the most wonderful fragrance that I'd ever smelt. Hallelujah, praise God. He has walked by me a, a couple of times and I've smelt his presence. That's the God that we serve. He is real. He is real. That's the God we serve. How blessed are they that moan for they shall be comforted. Amen. God's going to comfort us. I tell you right now, he knows our prayers. He knows every tear that goes in. And I'll tell you this too. He's his own time God. Amen. He is an on-time God. Look at right here in the, in the Philippians. Uh, these are times that I just needed a peace in my heart. Have you ever been there? Look at right here. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I tell you right now, I've faced death a number of times in my life. And uh, when I was on fire for the Lord and I had the fire of God in me, Death was right at my front door, but I had a peace that passed it, all understanding. I was at peace because I knew God was with me, hallelujah, and I didn't fear because I knew he was there. And he gave me that peace and comfort. You know what I'm talking about? I tell you, he's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. And he's a God that gives it peace. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds uh, through Christ Jesus. Y'all see that? I'll tell you right now, he's weeding the good times and the bad times. And we need to be with him in the good times and the bad times. Uh, just because you ain't uh, going through trauma or something in your life, uh, you need to praise God and worship God in the good times too, amen? When you're on the mountaintop, you shout and praise God up there, hallelujah. It's good to be up there, ain't it? But when you get down in the valley, you got to praise God and worship him too, amen? Because he's the same God. He ain't left you. He's there. Just have faith. Faith of a mustard seed, move the mountains in your life. We get mountains in our lives, we do. And we see things that us that don't look like. But I tell you right now, he'll move a mountain. I just had an awesome mountain removed from me. Hallelujah, I give God the glory for it, amen. Let's go a little bit further right here and look and see what God said. Uh, talk about comfort, joy, and peace. When God ordained me to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, he gave me Isaiah 61, 2, 3, and and. But I want to read these two. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that moan. Have you moaned sometimes? I have. I've cried out to God. And God help me. I don't think I can handle this. Just take me, God. Get me out of here. You ever been there? I have. But I tell you right now, he's a God that will never forsake you and never leave you. He'll be with you. you got to just stand there with the Lord. He'll get you through it. Amen. And if you don't get through it, you'll be in a better place anyway. If you the king, if you if you love the king, amen. Think about it. Praise God. Old Paul said, you know, down here is Christ, but uh, when I leave here, it's gonna be gain. Think about that. It's awesome. Isn't it? Look right here and see. To appoint unto them that moan in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, uh, that they not might be called the trees of righteousness, uh, the planting of the Lord, that they might be glorified. God loves us so much, y'all. 
He loves us so much. Look at all these things God's given. He's given us comfort, joy, and praise. We was praising him this morning. We need to praise him and to worship him. I want to tell you something. These blessings can be experienced. When God's terms of getting rid of sin are met, man forfeited those things because of sin, but Jesus restored all these things. He restored grace, eternal life, healing, health, comfort, peace, joy. That's what he restored, amen. That's some of the things. We got so many blessings. You get the word of God and start reading. There's thousands of blessings you get. And we didn't get saved to get the blessings. We got saved because we had a merciful God that gave us grace. Uh, and we're thankful for that, amen. We're thankful for what God has done for us. That's why we're here today. We come to hear the word of God. And when you hear the word of God, your faith is built uh, up because you're hearing the word of God, amen. It's his strength and his power that we see here this morning. It's his power. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. He's the great I. He's the rose of Sharon. That's who he is. He is I am that I am, and that's who we serve. Amen. I'm going to ask every head be bowed, please. Father, in Jesus' name. If anybody here needs to be saved and you want to rededicate your life, please raise your hand because I will pray for you. I'm praying for those folks on the Internet. I pray God will touch those folks on the Internet in a mighty way. And I pray if they don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I pray, God, that you'll draw them to the cross, God. Just like that man was told us uh, this week, uh, that cross is the key to get there. Hallelujah. you got to recognize the Son and what he's done. Anybody sick in your body, raise your hand right now. I want you to raise your hand. You sick. I see those hands. Yes, I do. You sick in your body, and you want the, the elders to pray for you and anoint you with oil, I want you to come up here right now. And if you can't come up here, you sit right where you at. We'll pray for you right where you at. I'm going to ask the elders to come on up here, and we're going to pray for these folks. Hallelujah. Praise God. That God, the one that uh, has saved us, uh, we have other benefits uh, that comes. Amen. Look up the word salvation. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Amen. I want you to come on up. Raise your hand. We're going to just honor and do what God says. We're going to anoint you with oil, and we're going to uh, pray for you. And, brother, just get right here. And Yes, sir, stand right there. We love you. God bless you. Come on up here, folks. We're going to pray. God's going to move. 